now we'll see uh, the topic on limits and continuity Suppose we have a function f of x like this. Okay. So now how to define the limit of that function? Limit is not defined just now, and so derivative one. So, for this function. some interval, otherwise take delta y by delta x. So at x and another interval x plus h at two points. So f of x plus h minus f of x by x plus x minus delta y by delta x So, is that the actual slope of the function? Does this value anywhere related to the slope of the function? Sir, that's the slope. So, is it anywhere linked with the slope of the curve? Actually, to calculate the slope, we have to draw a tangent at the given point. So here the curve is falling, the slope seems to be negative at this point, uh, and continuously it is turning to zero when the line is parallel to x-axis, and again it starts rising. Okay. So uh, to get the value of the slope from this information, what should we do? dy by dx is the slope, it is given by the limit distance to 0. The limit distance to 0, delta y by delta x. Limit distance to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x by h. So we have to reduce the interval to a very very small value. So that the two points we are considering are from a very nearby interval. When in the limit distance to zero, we get 
the actual information about the system. So both the points are separated are very very small. Similarities negative slope. The curve is a bit falling. The slope seems to be negative at that point. On the other hand, it may be positive. So limit is, I mean, derivative is defined as in the limit h tends to zero, f of x plus h minus f of x plus h. So this is called actually. Side of the point we are considering, which is positive. So, this is the right interval. This is x, this is x plus h. Define the left derivative also if we take the interval towards the left side. So my first point comes here, and the second point comes towards the left side, h minus h. So then this is f of x, this is f of x minus h. So left derivative is equal to surrender dy by dx. Left is limit is equal to zero. F of x minus x minus h by x minus x minus h. So dy by dx left is limit is equal to zero. f of x minus f of x minus h by h. If its left derivative equals to right Right. 
then the function is continuous. And then if we take the interval x plus h here. Around x, we are taking a left derivative and a right derivative. If both are equal, slope is equal, slope is same on the left side as well as the right side. It means the function is continuous. Otherwise, if there is a short change, even in that small interval, I mean, here we are considering actually h tends to 0. Means that interval size is actually very very small. Even in that interval, if the function changes the sign, I mean, if the function derivative changes, it is not continuous. Okay. The value also should not change. I mean, here the interval must be very, very small. So even at that small interval, I mean, if you if your function we say like your x plus h must be here, x minus h must be here. You have to take very very narrow interval. Even then, if the sign changes, the function is not continuous. Okay, the function. Remains continuous only when the left derivative equals to right derivative. 